Pope Francis embarked on a significant journey to Luxembourg and Belgium in September 2024. This visit, set against the backdrop of increasing secularization in Europe, carried a powerful message of hope and a call to action for Catholics. The Pope's itinerary included meetings with government officials, visits to iconic religious sites and interactions with local communities. Throughout his journey, the Pope emphasised evangelisation, social justice and interfaith dialogue. Luxembourg and Belgium, once strongholds of Catholicism, now grapple with secularism and declining religious affiliation. The Pope's presence served as a reminder of the enduring relevance of faith in a secularised world. His messages, delivered with warmth and humility, resonated deeply with both Catholics and non-Catholics. The visit began in Luxembourg, a small but affluent nation, and continued to Belgium, known for its linguistic and cultural diversity. In Belgium, he engaged with migrants, refugees and young people underlining the Church's commitment to inclusivity and social justice. The Pope urged Catholics to be beacons of hope and compassion, reaching out to those on the margins of society. At the heart of Pope Francis's message was a powerful call to evangelize. Recognizing the challenges posed by secularism, the Pope urged European Catholics to embrace their missionary vocation with renewed zeal. He stressed that evangelization is about sharing the love and joy of the Gospel through words and actions. The Pope encouraged Catholics to engage with their communities, encountering others with respect and openness. He reminded his listeners that the Gospel message has the power to transform lives and renew society. This call to action resonated deeply with many Catholics who have felt marginalized in a secular society. The Pope's words provided a much needed sense of encouragement and direction. Throughout his visit, he demonstrated the power of compassionate outreach through his own actions. His example served as a powerful testament to the transformative power of love and compassion. Pope Francis's visit was punctuated by poignant moments that captured the essence of his message. One such moment occurred during his visit to Notre Dame Cathedral in Luxembourg City. The cathedral served as a backdrop for the Pope's call to rediscover the beauty and richness of the Catholic faith. He reminded the faithful that these sacred spaces are living testaments to the enduring power of faith. Another significant event took place during the Pope's meeting with the Grand Duke of Luxembourg and government officials. The Pope emphasised the importance of dialogue and collaboration between the Church and State. He stressed the need to address pressing social issues such as poverty, inequality and climate change. Throughout his visit, Pope Francis also made time for impromptu encounters with ordinary people he greeted crowds with warmth and humility, often stopping to bless children or shake hands with well-wishers. Pope Francis's visit provided a unique opportunity to connect with local Catholic communities. The Pope engaged with people from diverse backgrounds, including migrants, refugees and young people. In Luxembourg, he met with representatives from the country's small but vibrant Catholic community. He encouraged them to be courageous witnesses to the Gospel, reminding them that small acts of kindness can have a profound impact. In Belgium, the Pope's encounter with a group of refugees was particularly moving. He offered words of comfort and encouragement assuring them that the Church stands in solidarity with them. These encounters highlighted the universality of the Catholic Church and its commitment to welcoming and supporting all people. Pope Francis's visit 
unfolded against a backdrop of significant religious and social change. Both countries, once Catholic strongholds, have witnessed a decline in religious adherence. This trend is particularly pronounced among younger generations. In Luxembourg, while Catholicism remains the largest denomination, active practice has been declining. A similar trend is evident in Belgium, where the church faces challenges related to secularization and declining attendance. Despite these challenges, vibrant faith communities continue to thrive. Pope Francis's visit served as encouragement and inspiration for these communities. His message of hope and compassion resonated deeply in a region grappling with economic inequality and social fragmentation. Throughout his visit, Pope Francis wove a consistent thread of social justice into his messages. He challenged the notion that economic prosperity alone is sufficient, urging consideration of moral and ethical dimensions. Speaking in Luxembourg, the Pope cautioned against materialism and the pursuit of profit at the expense of human dignity. He reminded his audience that wealth should serve the common good. The Pope called for a more just and equitable economic system. This message resonated strongly in Belgium, a country grappling with socio-economic challenges. The Pope also addressed the plight of migrants and refugees, calling for a compassionate response. His words served as a powerful reminder of our shared humanity and moral obligation to welcome the stranger. The theme of migration and the Christian duty to welcome the stranger figured prominently in Pope Francis's message. Europe has been at the forefront of the global migration crisis. The Pope challenged fear-based narratives surrounding migration, urging listeners to see the faces and hear the stories of those forced to flee. He reminded his audience that Jesus himself was a refugee. The Pope emphasized the inherent dignity of every human person. His words served as a call to unity and understanding, urging people to build more inclusive and welcoming societies. Despite the challenges facing the Catholic Church in Europe, Pope Francis's visit was marked by a spirit of hope. The Pope's message was a call to rediscover the joy of the Gospel and the transformative power of faith. He reminded his listeners that the Church has always emerged stronger from periods of trial. The Pope encouraged Catholics to draw strength from their faith and be beacons of hope. His demeanor served as a testament to the power of faith to bring joy, peace and purpose. Pope Francis's visit was a powerful reminder that the Gospel message remains relevant and transformative. As Pope Francis concluded his visit, he left behind a legacy of hope and a renewed sense of purpose. His message of evangelization, social justice and compassionate outreach resonated deeply. The Pope's visit served as a reminder of the enduring relevance of faith in a secularized world. His words and actions challenged Catholics to embrace their missionary vocation with renewed zeal. The impact of the Pope's visit extended beyond the Catholic community. His call to action on social justice migration and climate change challenged leaders to create a more just world. His message of hope served as inspiration and encouragement for Catholics across